the lab is called the photo emission and bright beams lab and uh, we study uh, two aspects of the same thing in some ways. First is the uh, phenomenon of photo emission where we study how light interacts with materials and causes electrons to come out of materials. And the other part is uh, generating bright electron beams. So once these electrons are out of the material, we generate a beam out of these electrons, accelerate them fast uh, to very high velocities and um, generate a beam of electrons that's very bright in the sense you have as many electrons as possible packed in a very small area and all going in the same direction. Um, and the, these two things are very much interrelated because the process of photo emission defines how bright uh, the beam, electron beam can be. So we are studying the process of photo emission with the objective of generating the brightest possible electron beams. Uh, the research that we do is a very interdisciplinary kind of research. Uh, there's a lot of surface science because the process of photo emission is a very surface sensitive process and uh, the last layer of atoms on the surface uh, determines various properties of photo emission. Uh, so we have a ultra high vacuum laboratory where uh, we study the process of photo emission in a very uh, uh, controlled uh, ultra high vacuum environment where we have no stray molecules sitting on the surface or getting impinged on the surface and we have various instruments to uh, make perfect surfaces that are atomically ordered, grow thin films of uh, novel materials and study the photo emission properties from such surfaces. We have equipment to characterize the photo emission uh, uh, Energies, uh, the energy spread of electrons that opt uh, that's obtained in photo emission. We have equipment to characterize the response time uh, of photo emission phenomena and various other photo emission properties. And uh, on the other side, we also are developing an electron gun where we can use some of the photo emissive materials that we developed and test uh, how they uh, generate electron beams and demonstrate the brightness, uh, demonstrate the generation of a bright electron beam for various applications. So electron beams are used for various aspects. Um, uh, there are industrial uses of electron beams for ele uh, lithography, for uh, sterilizing materials or you know things like sterilizing band-aids and stuff. But uh, the primary applications of our research are electron microscopy, specifically time-resolved electron microscopy, essentially trying to view atoms in motion in an electron microscope. So with better electron sources which we are trying to develop, uh, we can obtain brighter electron beams which will allow us to view atoms and molecules in motion in electron microscopes. In the lab, um I mostly assist with the, uh, the electron gun that we're building, so I've uh, helped uh, reassemble, uh, disassemble and reassemble it many, many times and uh, I've designed a, a few small pieces of it and ran some simulations for how eventually it's going to operate. So uh, we're working towards getting it um, fully completed soon, so that'll be exciting to just see how I've, everything that I've done has helped to make it really work now. I think that my research here is, um, it's kind of been the, it's how I grew to really know that this field existed and uh, the more I did it the more I, I realized that this is the field that I enjoy and is the field that I want to work in so I, I kind of see this as a perhaps like the foundation of my career so just uh, I've been using this time to explore some interests around here as well I've been trying to figure out what I really like so I can really start working towards that in the future. So I started working in this lab as a part of my rotation project in the first year the inter interdisciplinary nature of the lab was quite fascinating. Also, like in my dormy masters, I have worked on growth of films, and that's something that drew me to this lab because here also I would I started as work as someone who was working on the growth of films, and also the different characterization techniques was quite fascinating for me to learn and keep working on them. Most of the days uh, involve working on the photo emission electron microscope, getting the images, 
getting energy spectra, getting the case space, then analyzing all of those data, uh, collaborating with my lab mates, discussing our research. Uh, right now I am mentoring an undergrad, so that uh, takes a bit of my time, preparing for conferences, so it's, it's quite busy, but it's fun. Apart from research, I think it's the skills that I have developed over here will benefit more because um, uh, as I said, I, when I started, I started building stuff. So that would help me when I go forward if I want to build any vacuum chamber or design a gun, etc. Uh, other than that, the programming skills that I have learned over here, that would help me way more in future. Um, designing of experiments, carrying out day-to-day -day tasks, uh, working with femtosecond laser, all these things combined with the research that I do would be very useful in whatever field I go into.